East Orange, New Jersey. I'm a sophomore in high school. As a person of color, it would negatively affect me and most of the people in my life. A friend I know went to high school on Wednesday, and um, people were saying racial or religious slurs toward Islamic people who go to her school and things like that. It, they're de it's definitely prevalent. My name is Marie Noe. I'm with Max, my son. We started to hear that uh, there are violence or abuses against the um, people of color, uh, children of color in a uh, rural neighborhood in the United States, and that's a really um, dangerous sign. Uh, here in New York, diversity is embraced, but you don't know what is going to happen even in a progressive state like New York. And are we really concerned that uh, Trump administration is going to incite violence, hate, racism, and other um, dangerous policies which could affect or threaten a uh, safe environment for parents to raise kids? And you said you brought your son here. Hi, what's your name? Max. And what grade are you in? Six. And do people talk about President Trump and the election at school? Yeah, sometimes. And have you heard anyone respond to the election? What are they saying? They said that Trump is going to start World War III. And Max, what does your sign say? Military destroys democracy. Did you make that? Yeah. You see, it also says protect kids from hate. And what are you trying to say with your sign? I'm trying to say that Trump uses bigotry against against minority groups. How does it make you feel to see all these other people out here with similar signs and saying that they are also against bigotry? It feels like we have a lot, we have a louder voice in this. My name is Lauren, and I live in Flatbush, Brooklyn. And today my sign says, on one side, I love my Muslim neighbors, and on the other side, I love my Mexican neighbors, because I live in a heavily Muslim, Arab, Mexican, and um, Latin American community. And um, I just want them to know I love them. I'm an ally. I am watching anything that happens to them. If they need any support, they can come to me. Have you had a chance to say that to anyone directly, and what are those conversations like? Um, I've got a lot of hugs. Um, it's been awesome. Like, even just walking to the train today, um, one of my neighbors hugged me. A neighbor I don't know, but they were Mexican. They asked me politely if I could be hugged, and we hugged it out. So, yeah, it's been really positive in a really dark week.